Hi, my name is Jay Hare. I'm an alkaline water enthusiast. I've been working with Alcaviva for a little over 15 years, and during that time, I've seen many significant changes in people's health as a result of drinking this water across a broad range of health conditions and very consistently. So what we're going to do in this demo today is show you some, some different properties in this water that might cause those changes. So everybody around the world knows about these unique sources of healing or curative waters that come out of these natural springs, places like Lourdes in France or in the Himalayan or Andes Mountains. We even have one here in the United States in Idaho called Trinity Springs. And when scientists research this water, they find some unique things in common. Number one, they're all virtually contaminant free. So they're not poisoning you as you drink them. Number two, they tend to be alkaline um, more than tap water. So tap water is neutral, they tend to be alkaline. And number three, and really importantly, they tend to be highly ionized and contain a rich, powerful source of antioxidants that helps fight disease causing free radical damage in your body. So these demos will just show that, show what might benefit your body. The first property of the world's healing waters is that they were all virtually contaminant free. The problem for us, you and me, is that our water isn't contaminant free. What you're seeing on the screen is data from the EWG tap water database. This is taken directly from EPA mandated testing and as you can see there are 12 contaminants in our local water here in Reno that exceed the health guidelines and a total of 31 contaminants detected in our water. So what do you do about that? Well, you use a filter. No, filters can't protect you. Filters can't remove things. A few of the things that you saw in the Reno tap water uh, report, which are arsenic and chromium-6, filters won't remove those from the water. So, um, you, well, well, you buy, buy bottled water and drink that. No, again, bottled water has been shown in testing by the EWG where they talk, took 10 top brands and ran laboratory tests and found 38 different contaminants in the top 10 brands including things like flame retardant. So bottled water isn't clean, tap water filtered isn't clean, you can't trust your municipal provider to protect you, so what do you do? The solution? It's easy. Ultra water. Ultra water is our unique proprietary filtration technology. We spent three years and a half a million dollars in research and development creating ultra water and it's shown, proven in EPA certified independent lab testing to reduce virtually all of the 172 contaminants that we tested up to 99.9%. All of the heavy metals, all 21 including arsenic and chromium, uh, VOCs, industrial chemicals, even pharmaceutical and personal care products, things like endocrine disrupting hormones and pesticides and herbicides. The testing is impressive and it's extensive and it's right on our website. The second property of the world's healing waters is that they were more alkaline. So alkaline and alkaline water is a huge thing right now. In the 2017 Beverage Industry Trend Report put together by Google using their search data, the number one trending search term, as you can see on your screen, is alkaline water. Why? So we're going to do some testing to show you the pH uh, different beverages. Now the pH scale that you can see on your screen is basic high school chemistry and it ranges from the low side which are the summer colors, the warm colors, to the high alkaline side which are the winter or the darker colors. And it's an indication um, of the alkalinity or acidity of a beverage. So we test that with these pH reagent drops. We take these red drops and put it into a clear liquid and it will turn the corresponding color of pH on, on that you see on the chart. So let's, let's start down at this end with Sprite. Sprite and its cousin 7-Up are sugary carbonated drinks that if I gave my kids the opportunity 
to drink them, they would pick that over water almost every time. And so we'll put a couple of drops in and swirl it around to give you a nice color. And you can see on the pH chart, that's down in the red, orange, dark orange red zone. And then, uh, so very acidic. The next thing we'll test is Propel, and you can see it's a brother here, Gatorade. These are sports drinks, which are theoretically supposed to be good for you if you're an athlete. I'm an athlete and I don't drink them. <laughs> so we'll put a few pH drops in there. And once again, we're seeing a very dark orange reddish color. And then we'll move to vitamin water. A lot of people drink vitamin water because they think, wow, vitamins and water, that's got to be healthy, right? So we'll test the pH of the vitamin water. Now, your body has a wonderful system built into it called the buffering system, which helps buffer acidity in your body. But what, what's happening in our world today is that we're becoming overwhelmed with acidity. And it's all a, a matter of choice, what we choose to drink and eat. Um, the next thing we'll test is Aquafina and Dasani, which is Coke and Pepsi, in case you didn't know that. They take your and my municipal tap water. They do it locally, so they avoid federal bottling, uh, bottled water regulations. Um, and they purify it, so they take everything out of the water, which is good, but they take out the good things, the naturally occurring healthy minerals, which is bad. You want those minerals in the water because you need them for conductivity. Your body has to be able to use water to metabolize and it needs conductivity to do that. So you can see that's an orange, orangish yellow. So they take this tap water and they purify it. Now the next thing is smart water and this is purified but this also has some things added to it, some electrolytes. I think smart water knew our industry was running around showing that their smart water wasn't very smart for a long time and they started adding some electrolytes back in and so it actually starts off fairly orange, but then when you swirl it, it kind of turns more bright yellow and even starts to go a little on the green side. And then this is actually an interesting packaging. It's, uh, it's in a, a little box, but this is some spring water. So if you're going to buy bottled water, always look for spring or artesian water that's just filtered because it has all the naturally occurring minerals. And as you can see, the pH is more in the neutral range, neutral to blue actually. And so we're going to also tap, test our Reno tap water. Not that I would ever want to drink it with 12 cancer causing contaminants that exceed health guidelines. But as you can see, tap water, if you can get a good filter, actually has a good pH. Again, kind of like that filtered spring water. So. So there's the pH of a lot of different beverages. Now this last one is Monster, and because coffee is acidic, any carbonated sugary drink is acidic. This one I can't really use the drop, so I'm going to use a meter to test. And it's actually pretty horrifying. And people drink this for energy, and really what it does is send your body into shock. Because as you can see here, the pH is actually just a shade over 3 pH. Pretty scary. And um, any sugary carbonated drink is going to have that low pH and force your body to work overtime to balance that acidity out. So then the last thing we'll do is we'll test some ultra water out of our H2 series ionizer that I prepared before the demo. And we'll put the drops in. And as you can see now, it's a nice, lovely purple color. Let's see it against that white background. So the last thing we'll do is just show you how easy it is to take a nicely pH balanced thing and change it and it make it, you know, just have a little bit of Sprite because it tastes good, right? And look what happens to that nice alkalinity. So the other thing about the pH scale is it's logarithmic. Each point is times 10, not one times greater than the previous point. So a 3 pH 
is actually a million times more acidic than a 9 pH if you do the math. And that's, that's pretty scary. So what that all means is your body is alkaline by design and wants to be in an alkaline state. When we eat all these acidic uh, foods and like you know fast food and processed food and we drink these acidic beverages and we live our stressed out lifestyle, stress releases cortisol, cortisol is extremely acidifying. And so with those three things at a, at a height in our society, a lot of people are running around with an over acidic condition in their body and they're prey to all these different you know, diseases and health conditions. So the healing waters tend to be alkaline and as you can see, ultra water is very alkaline and that alkalinity is selectable on the machine. The third quality or property of the world's healing waters is that they're antioxidant. They're antioxidant and ionized and those go hand in hand and we'll do two tests to show those properties. So antioxidants neutralize free radicals. Free radicals in your body create damage and inflammation and they're, it's known that they're either a causal factor or a contributing factor in virtually every known disease. So free radicals, antioxidants, a big deal. So one way we can measure the uh, antioxidant property is through oxidation reduction potential and this is an oxidation reduction potential or ORP meter and this measures a numerical value either positive or negative. If it's positive it's oxidizing. Oxidation is rust or deterioration and or it measures a negative number which shows antioxidant properties. So we're going to take two glasses, one of tap water and one of the alkaline ionized ultra water and we'll just simply turn on the meter and dunk it in and see how it reads. So as you can see here this is oxidizing it's 350 and climbing and it'll take a minute to top out but should get up anywhere as high as in Reno as high as almost 500 positive millivolts of ORP. So then we can take the same meter and dunk it into the alkaline ionized antioxidant water and we can see instantly it goes negative as indicated by the minus sign here and it just flips. Now we're over minus 400 climbing up to minus 450 ORP and that shows the antioxidizing properties. If you took a penny, a nail, and a paper clip and put it in the tap water and left it for two weeks, what would happen? It would oxidize and rust. If you took the same penny, nail, and paper clip and put it in the antioxidant water and left it for two weeks, it would be clean as a whistle. And that's a great demo to show. So that's one way we show antioxidant potential. The other is with molecular hydrogen. And so molecular hydrogen is created during the process of ionization and there are over a thousand peer-reviewed scientific papers that suggest therapeutic benefit in over 170 different disease models and health conditions. That's pretty incredible and so we can measure the hydrogen properties of the water two different ways, one with a meter and the other with a drop. And so simply just turn the meter on and let it fire up and then put it into the water. This is the tap water first and you can see a great big fat zero and then we take the same meter and put it into the antioxidant hydrogen ultra water and as you can see it's climbing up almost to 700 and this is parts per billion so I think it's probably getting up over 700 now so that's 0.7 ppm or 700 parts per billion indicating the hydrogen. The other way we can show hydrogen is with these uh, what are known as titration drops and so these are blue drops and we put these blue drops into the water if there's no hydrogen the water stays blue. If there's hydrogen they go it starts off blue but then the water turns clear, indicating the presence of the antioxidant H2 or hydrogen in the water. And as you can see, 
that goes clear in a very short period of time. So this demonstrates the antioxidant properties of the water. The last test that we'll do is another test that, that's connected to the antioxidant properties and the ionization, but shows the unique penetrating ability of alkaline ionized water. And for this, we're going to just pour, again, two glasses, one with the tap water, and then another glass with about an equal amount of alkaline ionized ultra water. And then we're going to use two regular old Lipton flow-through tea bags. This one happens to be green tea. It's healthier. So we'll open them up and pull the, the bags out. Lipton flow-through green tea. And then we're going to dunk it into the water at the same time and at the same rate so that everything's equal. And you'll see the difference here in just a few seconds. One of them starts to turn, the alkaline ionized ultra water starts to turn a dark color very quickly, which demonstrates the penetrating ability of this type of water when compared to tap water or bottled water is, is basically the same. So you can see anecdotally through, through this test how penetrating this water is, and you might imagine what that does in your body for hydration. So as you've seen in the demonstrations with ultra water from an H2 series ionizer, you're able to recreate the unique properties of the world's healing waters in your home with the water that comes right from your tap. Pretty amazing. But there's also a lot of other great practical uses for the water. As you can see on your screen here, on the alkaline side, you can use it in the kitchen, in food preparation, washing, vegetables and produce and cooking in it in a variety of ways. It's also a wonderful cleaner for spotting carpet or clothes. And that's a chemical-free cleaner, so you can green up your home. On the acidic side, the water has documented sterilizing properties, so you can use it in the kitchen for a variety of things. Sterilizing, just anything in the kitchen, cleaning surfaces, so on and so forth. The skin loves an astringent and it's wonderful for anything on the skin. Face rinse, mouthwash, gargle, great on cuts or burns, and it's also great on cut flowers. So that you can use the water in a variety of ways around your home to create a healthy home environment. So is it cost effective to have ultra water in your home? Let's take a look at some comparative examples. On the slide, you can see that whether you drink bottled water from uh, packaged water that you buy at Walmart or Costco or you have five gallon jugs delivered to your home, the cost is in the same range, or around or a little bit less than a dollar a gallon. And you can see that having an ultra water H2 series ionizer over five years, the cost is 79 cents, so right in the same ballpark. Over 10 years, our cost is almost cut in half and ends up at about 49 cents a gallon. And you're getting healthier water that's virtually contaminant free and has all the properties of the world's healing waters. With the bottled water, you have all the plastic mess to deal with and you don't know if you're getting clean water and certainly you're not getting any of the health benefits. So to summarize, with ultra water, you get water that's virtually contaminant free and we have the EPA test results to back that up. It's alkaline, it's ionized, and it's antioxidant rich. It's also green, it helps you save on household cleaners, and overall, compared to bottled or other options, it costs about the same or less. And it's easy to own. We have great financing, zero down, and payments as low as $30 a month. So there's no reason not to have ultra water in your home talk to the Alcaviva representative who referred you to this video. Thank you.